on the f first question, uh, we are not yet sure under what rule uh, any motion or any other form of debate will be initiated. So let them formally uh, tell us, and then we will take a call on that. This call will be taken in the Business Advisory Council. As far as uh, Mr. Jaitley's uh, statement is concerned, I have not read the statement in full. I take it as you have quoted him correctly. We are not celebrating anything. I think the burden of the song of my colleague, <coughs> Mr. Sibyl, is captured by one line in an editorial which I read yesterday. But in the popular imagination, this was not the 2G scam. Rather, the scam involved 1,76,000 crore. That scam, it is now clear, was pure myth. That's the point I think he's trying to say. There was a good story in telecom. Yes, mistakes may have been made by which the story got derailed. But we could have easily put it back on rail after correcting the mistakes. Instead of that, the story took a, took a completely different turn. It acquired uh, certain uh, demonic proportions. And therefore, what happened today appears to be a big letdown. But the point is that This auction has discovered a price. There's no point uh, calling it a damp squib or a flop or a failure. There's no such thing as a good price or a bad price. This is an auction discovered price given the economic conditions of today. So we take it as it is. We go forward. There are still four more circles. There is still the CDMA. There is still the charge for the excess spectrum. There is still the charge that will be levied when refarming takes place. We take it forward. But the point of Mr. Sibyl, which I underscore, is policy must be left to the government of the day, because it is only the government of the day which can take note of the economic conditions and the context in which policy is made. We are neither celebrating nor condemning anyone. We are simply pointing out what happened over the last four years.